Hi guys, this is Mark Shaw's in the Pattern Trader. Uh, just wrapped up another Master Pattern Trader session. Uh, it was a very lively session. It ran a little longer than normal. We had a lot to talk about. I really honed in on uh, the precious metals. We've had an enormous run up uh, in July and August in uh, the precious metals. And I spent a lot of time answering whether we will see a continuation of those trends or a potential reversal. All right, welcome to this session of the Master Pattern Trader. My name is Mark Shaw's in the Pattern Trader. And, uh, you know, again, I think uh, we always talk about, uh, you know, do I trade the news? Should you trade the news? What, part, you know, functionality does news or events have, you know, on the markets? Uh, and, you know, it's an ongoing discussion. Uh, but to my mind, uh, being objective, uh, honing in on the price, uh, is uh, not only the best way to trade, but it's only the only way because the news, you know, creates emotion and the markets don't, you know, correlate exactly uh, how the news should be interpreted. Uh, so in the background, we've got a, a lot of chaos back and forth across the pond, as they say, between uh, the United States, uh, the House of Congress opened up an in impeachment inquiry into our uh, sitting president. And then across the pond in the UK, all kinds of chaos and disruption. Uh, you had a resignation of a prime minister back in May, and you may have another one now, and uh, all kinds of scandals, both sides. And so how do we make sense of all this stuff? And if we read the headlines, you know, every hour it's going to change. And so it's going to change our emotions. Uh, it's, uh, you know, and again, there's just no practical way. Uh, to make money, certainly long term, uh, there may be a paradigm shift that you know one thing uh, causes or another. But the markets are usually ahead of that. There's usually uh, a sequence of price action or events that uh, you know tip us off. And I guess this is especially true with gold uh, and silver. So in the um, chart before me is gold. I guess before I go to gold, just as a validation. Um, you know, over the past couple of weeks or so, I've been uh, very negative uh, gold. You know, I see this double top head and shoulders. So this is an example of my uh, daily email that goes out as part of my uh, elite service to those on my daily email list. And uh, yesterday I sent out an email to sell gold at $1,500 um, on a sell stop. It was trading about $1,505 uh, on the close, but we had this little inside bar. We'll take a look at it. But, you know, I'd already sent out uh, two days earlier um, an email suggesting to sell gold at, on a limit. It did actually just poke right through the limit and now it has fallen nicely uh, under that. So we got in at 1511 markets trading around 1492. So I'm showing uh, some really good profits there. Uh, and I think there's, uh, you know, more room on the downside. So, you know, this is, uh, you know, my analysis. I'm not trying to say this is what I would do would do after the fact. You know, I've been kind of looking at this market, trying to be objective because, you know, you've had, um, you know, crashing interest rates, which should be, uh, you know, friendly to gold. You've had uh, prospective war with Iran and, you know, a whole dust up between uh, Saudi Arabia, and Iran, you know, U.S. sending trip, troops to the Gulf. You know, so the backdrop of all of that, you know, it's not easy to be uh you know, a gold trader and you think, well, I have to be on the long side if I am going to trade this thing. But to me, this is where, you know, certain patterns. So this stands out to me uh, very instructively. Even when we were kind of running up here, I wasn't kind of, uh, you know, getting on board. If we had kind of got up here and started taking out this level, then that would have been a busted pattern. Even then, that might have been a resistance area and we could have still seen this. So this to me, uh, was a formidable obstruction uh, along this rally. And now we kind of have this, uh, what looks like a head and shoulders. And if we cut through the neckline, which is simply a line drawn through the pattern at around 1480, uh, that to me, it would be somewhat, you know, confirmation. And then we have to see how the market responds. Does it kind of go through there, kind of come back, retest this thing and come back down or so once I draw my structures, then I kind of defer to see how the market, you know, reacts within the structures. And I was saying all the way back in here, I felt like we had this 
a little symmetrical trading range going on here. And that typically, you know, you see break. So I, I kind of thought that we would have to retest, you know, the downside, you know, the lower side of this uh, trading range somewhere in there, you know, 1455, 1460, somewhere in there. You know, even during this little run up, I was saying that I'm very skeptical of that. So to my mind, this is how, you know, you use objective analysis to determine the move against a background of so much. Uh, you know, if the U.S. president gets impeached, is that going to create all kinds of instability and chaos? Gold will usually rally in environments of instability and chaos. Uh, we've had crashing interest rates. That should be good for gold. So how can I be short gold? Well, you know, the price right here to me suggested that it was very problematic. Now also uh, some uh, correlation um, price action and price patterns in silver had me spooked um, quite a while ago, suggesting that this rally, you know, looked good on the paper, but uh, I'm a little bit circumspect about this whole thing. So uh, we spent a little time on the metals. We can kind of dial it to the weekly now and you can see it's starting to look very problematic on the weekly so even if you didn't get in at 1511 or 1500 where i advised our elite members to get in i, I don't think it's uh, too late if this thing uh looks like it's as problematic as it's starting to so you know here we have a series of what i call key reversals and if you're you know new to these sessions you know uh, i say key reversal is uh, you know simply an observation of how a market closes relative to the high and low so if we close on the low part of the bar it suggests to me that the sellers are in control so in all of these weeks we made a stab at these new highs you know 1555 and then another stab recently here and by the end of the week you can see that every single week we closed on the low of the week so even though we poked into new high territory by the end of the week the sellers were in control. Now, these also key reversal, they kind of point to me in the direction that a market wants to go. If you have enough of them, and if you start, you know, kind of seeing this collect at, uh, you know, a certain area, and now you've got kind of this mini, you know, double top. And so to my mind, it's setting the stage. The only problem I have, and this is where I do a little bit of visualization is that, you know, typically when markets ramp up this quickly, they don't kind of go down and cut through all of this thing so quickly. So this, you know, could come down in fits and starts. You know, you may, uh, you know, kind of you know, get a rally into next week, fill a little bit of space up here, get another shot at, you know, getting in. And, uh, you know, we could just, because this needs to build some space in order to fall. Um, but it does look like uh, I would now be inclined to short the rallies. So anytime this thing falls and then rallies, I'd be inclined to short that uh, based on the way this is looking. This is starting to look pretty ominous where you've got a collection of, you know, resistance areas combined with this negative price action. So it's really both. It's, you know, just this double top resistance and the way it's also behaved that every time we poke through here, the sellers are in control by the end of the week. And so uh, I do expect, you know, this is kind of that little area we saw in the daily. I certainly would expect kind of a retest back into the breakout area of that little uh, rectangle uh, formation there. And then, uh, you know, perhaps more long term, you know, looking at perhaps maybe uh, coming back and retesting somewhere in this area. So that's kind of what it's looking like to me. I took a poke higher. I've got some good positions on, uh, you know, may take some profits. Cause again, I don't think this is going to go straight down, but you know, it's certainly poised to now we're kind of coming to the end of the month. And um, this is consequential too, because now we're seeing how this is inclined to be closing uh, at the end of the month. And uh, you know, I forget what even day it is sometimes. So let me just kind of check. Uh, yeah, Monday will be the last trading day of the month. So we still have kind of one more day 
but uh, this looks like it's going to close closer to the low than the high. And um, to me, the closing on this is not as important as this just seems like um, it's an inside bar. And what this says to me is that this rally just ran out of steam. So it looks like, it, you know, we had this enormous rally and now this is kind of, uh, you know, it just can't get enough going again. So it looks like this is, you know, starting to uh, run out of steam. And then, you know, you could actually put a sell stop under the monthly low. And then if it starts cutting lower incrementally, this, uh, you know, could uh, spell a bit of an exhaustion and maybe a retest of this uh, breakout area. Uh, so if you'd like to check out my Master Pattern Trader sessions, uh, just check out uh, this video. Have a great weekend, and hopefully I'll see you uh, on the next live session. Hi, guys. This is Mark Shaw's in The Pattern Trader. Have you ever wondered if you were making the right trade? Have you ever sat in front of your computer or your phone about to execute a trade and felt nervous? Or perhaps you've kicked yourself because you made a stupid decision in the markets that cost you money? Well, the reason why you feel that way is because there is doubt. You're scared of making the wrong decision, and this is totally natural. You are not alone. For example, recently a guy called Mark asked me this question. Do you think it's too early to short the NASDAQ? Mark had doubt in his mind, and I answered his question on the spot. I get a lot of questions, and I answer them all. What you're seeing on your screen right now is a list of comments from one of my most recent live sessions. After the introduction and my weekly analysis, I got this comment here. I've been short Euro versus Swiss franc, and through your system, I've had the confidence to add an extra position. When I looked before the start of the webinar, I realized I'm not too far from closing both trades. His name is Glenn, and he's now got the confidence to make money on this Euro Swiss trade. Any question you have about trading, I will answer. Here are some examples. What are your thoughts on pound versus Swiss franc or odd versus Swiss franc short or long euro versus Australian dollar? Are you short on the Australian dollar crosses? Could you please take a look at the Australian dollar versus Canadian dollar? Okay, but how long would that pattern in the US dollar Japanese yen last? What is the rule? Any thoughts on Apple stock? Mark, what is your opinion on Microsoft or Oracle? Do you see a reversal short term? Thanks. And I answered all of those questions. Generally, people are thrilled with their newfound confidence in their trading. Every single week, I do these live sessions where I help hundreds of traders like you to eliminate their doubt. Like William who said, Mark, some excellent calls lately. Thanks for the help. These sessions allow us to focus on the patterns. But after six months, I'm now starting to understand how you determine entry points. These sessions are very helpful every week. In the very same sessions, minutes after William commented, Michael said this, Mark, I believe these master pattern trader sessions might be the most valuable tool that you provide to us, even better than the daily trades. Great for self learners like me. And this is one of my favorites because it's what these sessions are all about. I continue to feel that I will take positions above and beyond the daily trades just because I increasingly gain confidence in my own ability to judge things. Imagine having the confidence to make money in the markets. Imagine someone with experience being there every week to help you with the doubts you have as a trader. Imagine knowing exactly what a former Wall Street professional would do in your situation. That's what I deliver every single week in my Master Pattern Trader sessions. One, you get to look over my shoulder and see what trades I'm thinking of taking. There's no need to waste your time looking at markets that won't make you money. Two, you get to show me your trades you want to take and get my opinion on whether it's a good idea or not. No more guesswork. Three, you get to see what other traders in the master pattern trader community are doing to make money. You don't have to be alone anymore. Yes, people make money from them, but more importantly, you get your confidence back. All the comments I just went through was from one master pattern trader session. Just one. I didn't even cherry pick it. This happens every single week. If you'd like to join me on these live sessions so that you can catapult yourself to a pro level trader, then listen up. You can join your very first live session for free. All you have to do is go to the link thepatterntrader.com forward slash free. If you want to continue, an entire year's membership is just $300. That's it. And there's also a guarantee. Either you make money back 
from trades or you don't pay a penny. If after 12 months, you have not made back your $300 from trading, then we'll give you a full refund. All we ask is that you follow my training, do what I say, and attend the sessions. You've already missed out by not being on these sessions. However, the market keeps on giving and you have an opportunity to join me on the very next one. Don't wait and then kick yourself because you're seeing other people profiting from these sessions. Here's another session's comment snapshot. We don't have time to go through all of them, but Ryan said, your way of delivering the lessons is very clear and straightforward. That is why I've been following you, two thumbs up. Here's another session. As you can see, people are thrilled. Richard said, great stuff, thanks. Jim says, my first webinar with you, very informative. I look forward to my first Sunday video with you too. Thanks for a job well done. Duncan says, always great, and the more you hear, the more it sinks in. Thomas said, thanks, Mark, great webinar. Andrea says, thank you, Mark, great webinar once more. And here's another one. It's always the same. People get an incredible amount of confidence to execute trades that make them money. Here was a com comment from William. Thanks, Mark. This takes time to grasp, but your support is superb. Uh, will these lessons be recorded? And can we review them again? Yes, these sessions are recorded. Eugene says, very understandable and useful. Pamela says, uh, your advice helps me to understand these patterns better. Uh, Pamela says, very helpful watching you draw the patterns to reinforce what you're looking for. Thank you. Lee says, certainly getting the patterns, have been following your teachings a while now. The next step for me is identifying entries and constructing trades and then pulling the trigger. And here's another one. This is from Hushang. My trading has improved a lot listening to your seminars. Ranford says, thanks for a very in-depth view of the various patterns. Ezekiel says, a good request from the group today and great analysis from the coach. Thank you all. Rollins says, nice session, giving me a lot of good ideas for the coming months. Ritz says, another very useful session hearing and seeing your rationale on each chart. Thanks, Mark. I could show you hundreds and hundreds of screenshots just like this, but I think you're starting to get the point. We will start the next live session at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday. Simply go to thepatterntrader.com forward slash free now and sign up.